A humidifier and a vaporizer appear similar in so many ways. This is usually what leads many people to ask, what is the difference between a humidifier and a vaporizer? But there are clear differences between them and we are going to take a look at some of them. Humidifiers are devices that help to alleviate respiratory symptoms caused by flu or allergies and treat skin dryness caused by loss of moisture. They add moisture to the air to avoid dryness and skin irritation. They come in different types and sizes to fit into different purposes. On the other hand, vaporizers are devices used to vaporize the air for inhalation purposes. They help to reduce the symptoms of cold, congestion problems and nasal dryness. Now you want to know which is right for your office or home needs. We will be providing you with answers to questions you may have on this topic. A drop in humidity levels or low humid climate increases the immediate want for a humidifier or vaporizer. This usually occurs during winter time or chilly months. This period of winter can serve as a means for dry humid conditions to occur and can serve as an overall risk to well-being. A drop in humidity level of the atmosphere influences the moisture content of the skin and the well-being of the respiratory tract, usually leading to nasal problems and flaky skin. Low moisture level is often the culprit when experiencing cough and colds, asthma, headache, cracked lips and dry skin. The major difference between vaporizers and humidifiers is in their mode of operation and how they expel moisture back into the air. Vaporizers operate by boiling water till it becomes hot steam. A vaporizer power a heating element using electricity. This, in turn, creates steam by boiling the added water. But the steam first gets cool before leaving the vaporizer, entering the air, and reaching the user. Humidifiers generate a very cool mist. Both add moisture to the atmosphere. They are typically used to help ease colds. Vaporizers and all you need to know. Unlike humidifiers, vaporizers can be used to pass medication and ease symptoms of the common cold. Additionally, vaporizers utilize heat to steam or boil water and in return, the presence of microorganisms, mold, and bacteria in the air it releases is lessened to the barest minimum. Types of vaporizers. 1. E-liquid vaporizers. 2. Desktop vaporizers. 3. Oil vapes vaporizers. 4. Medicinal vaporizers. 5. Dry herb vaporizers. 6. Portable vaporizers. 7. Casual vaporizers. 8. Steam vaporizers. How do vaporizers operate? Their mode of operation is based on a heating technique. A heating component boils water, and in return lets off steam as vapor. Vaporizers are known to provide tidier moisture by emitting vapor from hot water. The water undergoes a heating process. The heating process will then eliminate mold, mildew, and bacteria that are inhabiting the water and makes it cleaner. For this reason, tap water can be used with vaporizers and this makes them cost-effective to fill and use. Humidifiers and all you need to know. Humidifiers are usually utilized in dry and cold weather or by people experiencing respiratory challenges like flu, cold and asthma. They add moisture to dry air by emitting a cool mist. These moisturizing appliances are an excellent means to ease sinus problems, sneezing, coughing and dry skin. Humidifiers also provide relief to babies experiencing frequent congestion, cough and discomfort. Types of humidifiers. 1. Ultrasonic humidifiers. 2. Impeller humidifiers. 3. Evaporators. 4. Central humidifiers. 5. Cool mist humidifiers. 6. Warm mist humidifiers. How do humidifiers work? Humidifiers emit water using a fan. This fan rotates in a swift motion when immersed in water. Chilled vapors are released, so there is no case of burns or scalds linked with using humidifiers. A humidifier is your best bet for treating dry air in your child's room. 
but it is advised to consult your pediatrician before using one in your child's room. It is advised to use pure water when using a humidifier because the water used in refilling the humidifier is not boiled. So, there is a chance for the spread of bacteria, molds, mildew and microorganisms. Humidifiers don't have a function that allows them to use additives like inhalants. A humidifier has an elevated sound level when in use, more than vaporizers. So when buying a humidifier, tolerance level should be considered. Humidifiers and vaporizers and are both beneficial to us and our surrounding environment because they aid with humidity and maintain the indoor humidity levels. Evaluating the advantages and disadvantages of vaporizers and humidifiers is to help you determine and decide which one is suitable for your needs. Humidifiers are more homely, pet and child friendly because safety related challenges are not an issue compared to using a vaporizer which is linked with more hazardous risks as a result of the steaming it undergoes to produce vapor. Because humidifiers require a periodic change of filters, the cost of maintaining a humidifier may be higher than that of a vaporizer. But good humidifiers conserve energy and reduce utility bills. Vaporizers, on the other hand, involve heating, which consumes high amounts of energy. If you have enjoyed this video, click on the subscribe button below to get notifications when we post a new video. Also drop a comment below so we can know your thoughts. Finally, don't forget to check the description below for more details and visit our site, www.zimhumidifiers.com for more awesome humidifier content like this.